Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Scorched Earth. We're going to be going out today to try to find us one of the dire wolves. Well, actually two. We're going to get a male and a female. Been doing a little bit of scouting, and I have found some. It's kind of on one of the land bridges. I found a male that was a 118, and a female. There's two. There's a level 72, and then there's a level, I think it's 130. So either one of those will work, preferably the 130. So we're going to go over there. We're going to be taking the Argentavis and using it to pick them up. We're going to build just a small little trap. I was going to do a drop trap, but I think all we're going to do is take pillars, make a nice little square where they can't get out. We use the Argentavis, pick them up, drop them in, and trank them. And that is how we will get our two that we'll be using for breeding for our final Alpha Manicore fight. So, like I said, it is getting towards nighttime. I see we have dropped us an egg. So we are going to do this probably at night. Let's go ahead and jump on him. We need to run down here, throw this metal and crystal out, grab our pillars, and head right over. I'd like to go ahead and try to get the... At least get the, the pillars set up before it gets too dark, you know? Ooh, we got 73. That's going to be too much to walk. Yep, too much to walk. That's all right. We'll half it. But it's not going to be too bad of a deal. I think we'll be able to get them both done without too much problem. It's just getting them up and getting them into the trap is the thing, right? After we get that done, it's all downhill from there. We will keep the egg on us. I think I'm going to go ahead and just eat it. How's our food? Yeah, we could, could use a little bit of food right now. Nice. Nothing like a lovely Argentavis egg. Cool, so we have everything on us that we need, except for the kibble, which is the main ingredient. I was going to say, where's all of our kibble, man? And I think that's all we need. Oh, let's grab another cryopod or two. How many have we got on us? We got two on us. You never have two too many, man. And we're going to be loading up some darts. We do not want to kill it. Oh, dude, can you imagine that? I actually found some high-level ones, and I mess up and kill it. It's happened before. So not too far of a flight. It's kind of over this direction. I guess I should have marked it on the map because I don't know exactly where it is. <laughs> so let me try to find a man. It's on one of the land bridges. Shouldn't be that hard to find. And then we'll start setting our trap up. All right. Remember that part where I said it probably wouldn't be that hard to find? Dude, there's like three or four land bridges over that way. And this is the last one, so I'm hoping this is where it is. I think this is where it is, because there was a drop, and there's a wolf there. That's a level 8. Oh, dude. Tell me there's a higher level one than that over here. Yep, there's another one there. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. There's the 130. I don't know where the other one is. Let's say, well, let's go ahead and get rid of this one first of all. I don't want them to have any kind of pack bonus or anything like that. We'll drop it off the side. Thank you. Stay down there for a bit. And we'll get rid of this snake. Oh, I did not know we could pick those up. Get rid of this last one, and then we'll start building our little trap here. Come on, dude. Don't make this difficult, man. Just follow me. How about that? I do not want to get tranked. We're almost out of stamina, too. Slither your way down there, buddy. <laughs> nice. And where's that other wolf? I think it's far enough away where it won't mess with us. Right? Yeah, I think we're good. All right, let's go ahead and get some of these out. It's going to be fairly simple, man. All we're going to do is literally space them out. Where it automatically spaces. And we just need a big enough to where... Wait a minute. Can wolves get out through this? I might have messed up. Maybe we need doorways and not these. <laughs> we'll find out, man. Oh, dude. I don't know if wolves can go through a single doorway. Or a single thing. I think they can. <laughs> oh, I might have messed up, man. That's all right. We'll still use the trap. I might have to just build some extra parts to it. It's okay, man. I'm new here. Don't mind me. 
that'll work actually. I didn't know they could clip in between there. Oh wait, you can't do it from this way though? Well that's weird. I mean, it'll work. But it's weird. Can I have these please? Thank you. Why will that not clip directly in between? But it does on the, f the far side, you know? Well, anyways, that's going to work. We'll go ahead and put these here. Yeah, see, it's on a total different line. I don't know. They will be blocked. We'll have to destroy it to get out, which isn't a big deal. I'm not too worried about that. Maybe what happened was I actually set it. Yeah, I think that's what happened. I set it out to the side here, and it just picked its own line to go down. <laughs> I was thinking it was clipping into something, you know? And that last one. That is very janky looking, but we could actually fit in it. So that's not too bad, man. We'll be able to do that with uh, throwing the kibble in and stuff. So let's grab our first victim. Double check, make sure you are the correct one. And you are. Come with me, please, ma'am. I have some nice kibble for you after I shoot you in the face of the train. <laughs> that's the way it goes, man. Got to knock them out before you give them food. And I think it will not be able to get out, right? Cool. I was going to do both at once, but I think we should do one at a time. That way we don't waste too many tranks. Kind of worried that it can get out over here. What's up, buddy? Oh, dude. Aha! Almost. Dude, that is almost where it can get out. Still too close, huh? Peekaboo. Oh, oh, nope. Shouldn't have been messing with it. Yep, I was playing around. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, I shouldn't have been messing around like that, man. I don't whimper, man. I know, just shoot you in the butt. All right, cool. There's one out. Let's try to find the other one. And I think we can go ahead and drop it in there. Oh, wait, we got to... Let's get this thorny dragon out of here. I don't need your help knocking them out, dude. I appreciate it, though. You see that one falling from the sky? That's the... That's the male. He was, like, way over there, though, down that kind of little trench over here. All right, let's go ahead, pick him up. He's a quite a bit lower level. I mean, that's like 15 levels lower, but it should still be fine. I was looking for at least level 100s. And I don't think he'll aggro the other one because they're both wolves, right? You just stay right there, man. That's a perfect shot if I had a dart loaded. Nice. Turn the light up a little bit so we can see. Getting kind of dark out. I didn't bring any torches with me. Oh, dude. Boy, I tell you what. As long as he doesn't hit the other one, that's what I'm kind of worried about, you know? One more good dart on him. We should be all right. Yeah, come down here, man. So we're, uh, They got such a long bite range. Come on, buddy. Oh, totally missed. I don't know if he's ready to pass out. Oh, that's why he's running. I need to get some kibble on that one, man. I'm kind of worried. We didn't even check on it, you know, whenever she went down. Nice. Okay, cool. Let's grab all of our stuff. Is it on us? It is. The kibble and the narcotics. Try to find that place where we can go in at. Right here. Thank you. Nice, nice. All right, so you're good. Oh, dude, I was so worried. This is probably going to be like an instant tame. What's your food at? Yeah, she might tame right up. See, I just want to put two in there. Nope, I thought she would have instantly ate them. And then we'll put two in you as well. 
I'm gonna have to keep an eye on him, man. It shouldn't be too hard. I need to check around the area here, make sure nothing else is around because those thorny dragons and there is wolf spawns up here, obviously. I mean, we got two of them there. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. We'll throw him off the side. So the plan is to slowly breed those up over the next couple of videos. I'll be or in between the next couple of videos and probably take in 19 and then I'll ride the UD. And we'll use that against the final Alpha Manicore fight. I'm hoping it's going to go okay. I'm not too sure, like I said, about the wolves. Is that another wolf there? Nope, Terror Bird and Scorpion. That's even worse. I'm not too sure how it's going to work out, man. I'm kind of worried about their damage. That's why I never really mess with them, because they got such a low damage and no saddles. So we'll have to see how it goes. But first things first, let's go ahead and get these guys tamed up. We'll put them in crowd pods. Well, I'll put one in a crowd pod. The other one we'll carry back. That way we don't have to wait for the timer. And then we'll probably try to get one little puppy out of them today before we go. Just to see how the stats are going to be different and stuff like that. Never done breeding on them. Oh my gosh, she is ready. What's up? How's it going? Oh, that's right. We can ride them like this. I forgot. Uh, we're going to be overweight, right? Let's throw all of our stuff into the Argentavis. Not that, though. I don't want it messing with our kibble, man. I don't want to have to make any more. We're still kind of overweight for her. So, your stats. You turn out to be a level 194. Fantastic. You all right? You good? Health is 2,000. Stamina is 1,000. Holy crap. I think that's high. Maybe? Seems like a lot of stamina for one of these. Weight is 258, very low. Damage is 364%, movement speed 130%. That's not bad at all. I think we'll put her into the cryopod. And then we'll go ahead, when he wakes up, we'll grab him with the Argentavis and fly back to base. See one of our fantastic burgers that we got. That should fill our food up all the way. And then we'll have one of our cactus broth and drinks and we should be good man it's a real good combination having that cactus broth and then drinking something you know slows down your water consumption but all right man i'm gonna keep well <laughs> i was gonna say i'm gonna keep watch and then we'll come back whenever the other one's ready so let's turn you off follow we'll look at your stats real quick because we're kind of safe so level 176 health is 2100 stamina is 910 Weight is 241. Damage is 357%. Movement speed 130%. So, this one has better health even though it is lower level. Interesting. Less stamina. And I think less damage? I'm not too sure. I don't remember exactly what the other one was. Let's see if we can pick him up right there. We should be able to. Without dropping him. Yep, see, sometimes you drop him. Ah, oh, dude, this might be a bit of a pain. Nice, we got him. All right, I will see you when we get back to base. So I did have to stop one time for some stamina. I was kind of worried because, you know, we had to sit down on the ground, but everything was fine. I stopped on one of the little rock mountains right over there. But dude, something's going on with my food, man. So I don't know if I'm bugged or the cactus broth is draining my food, but dude. So we ate a burger that filled us up. And it slowed down, but it was draining, like, rapidly, man. And I don't know why. I'm not sure what made it drop so much. But it was going down about as fast as it's going up. So something's kind of... I don't know, man. Some of these custom foods are really, really buggy. Not too sure I like it. But we made it back here to base. Let's go ahead and get the other one out of the cryopod. And we'll do a little bit of breeding. I think we got some meat in this guy, right? Summon you. Check the feed trough, man. Is it gone? Oh my gosh, you guys eat so much. Who is the pig, man? Well, I think it's a pig. Like, literally the pig. <laughs> I left him on healing. Yep, 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 yep. Where's the Rex? He should have quite a bit of meat in him, too. He doesn't.
These guys are so expensive to keep out, and that one's empty too. Oh my gosh, man, everybody's starving to death. And I don't have any for breeding, so that's kind of a thing. Let's go ahead and throw you out. So that's a pack leader. That's cool that it actually says who's a pack leader. It doesn't have the little aura, though. Hmm. Okay, well, let's grab your food out. Throw it in the bin just so nobody dies. Seems like the pig has eaten everything. Yep, that's going down pretty fast. Well, at least they didn't eat you, dude. <laughs> Little Jerboa's in here just chilling. All right, man, let's get these two together. I think we'll do it right over here. Just so it's somewhat by the light and we'll be able to see and it's by a feed trough. An empty one, but whatever. All right, so let's go ahead and try to enable mating on you. And on you. And I think before we go, we'll go ahead and... I mean, what should do it before we do this? I want to see what kind of damage they do. I don't want to get any, either one of them killed, though, you know? Which one's a pack leader? Let's take this one for a spin first. Of course, you're coming with. We need to get a little bit of meat anyways, you know? Oh, dude, he's already just stuck on the scorpions. Please don't let it be like this today, man. And we need to change his follow distance to low. Let's do lowest. Keep him right up on us. Nope, that's a little bit too much, man. And I think we can howl, right? To boost everything up. Let's try to find something to kill first before we go doing that. I don't know if there's a timer on it. Ah, nice. Pariser. There we go. Nice. There's the ore I was looking for earlier. So that should boost everything. 251. That is not bad. Dude, that's a lot more than I thought it was going to be. Hmm. I wonder if I should ride this to boost or if I should ride the UD. You know what I mean? Oh, it's a Pego. Kill him! Attack! Don't let him steal from us! Oh, dude, there's multiples. So, see, I don't know what that symbol is that popped up. Oh, that's another one, dude! Holy crap, man! It's in the bag. Junk. We got enough meat? We got a bunch of prime meat. We good? Alright, let's take out this Megatherium, and then I think we'll head back. That should be enough meat. It seems like our pack bonus will last quite a while, too. Drop all this prime meat. Nice, nice. So not too bad, man. Actually having two of these. See, I always just tamed one when I mess with them. And I guess the, the best thing is to have the pack bonus, right? I mean, it kind of makes sense, one would think. Dude, that galley is going like crazy. Where's that saber at? Oh, please don't go into my base. That's right. Run off the side, dude. There you go. <laughs> Leave my stuff alone. The weight is so low on these, though, dude. We're already out of weight. Where was that T-Rex trying to run to? I'll be going nowhere, man. Tell you what. Says it's daylight out. We'll leave them right there. All right, so. Both y'all stop following. So I think these are live birth, of course, no eggs. So we'll have to pay attention to them. All right, cool. They're doing their thing. Can I access you without messing it up? There was some food over here for everybody. So we have the mating period and then the gestation period I think too right it's like a two part deal and I'll throw this over where the Argentavis are I need to get rid of that kibble well maybe we'll hold on to it we will try to do some imprinting on this first one unless it's a male if it's a male and high level we'll trade out the one that we have for it of course get some better stats like usual 
I'd rather be over than under whenever we go up against a mana core because, you know, being on the ground and everything. But all right, man. Well, it's going to be a few minutes for the mating period, then the gestation period. So we will come back when all that is ready and we'll, uh, we'll check out the little one, man. See how it is. We are just about ready for our first little one. Kind of excited, man. Hopefully it turns out to be a male. That's kind of what we're going for here. All right, so we need to move this dude up a little bit. There we go. Nice, nice. And what are you? Ah, it's a female. I mean, that's okay still. So it's a level 185. So it's less than you. We'll have to check out the stats. Uh, Let's grab some food. Oh, man. Oh, look at the little dude, man. Hey, come over here, buddy. Let's give you a little something to eat, man. Don't want you starving to death. And we will change your follow distance. <laughs> it's so tiny, man. Cool. Well, let's check out the stats versus the other one. So on this one, we got 2100. So it looks like it has a health from the father. Stamina from the father. Damage from the mother, I think, right? 364. Yeah, okay, cool. So it's actually perfect, man. So that has like the best stats out of both of those, right? Except for... Weight is 241. I think we got the weight from the father as well. Yeah, and then they both all have like the 130 on the movement speed. So we'll have to see what goes up whenever we do this. And holy crap, that thing has been eaten, man. It's got like nine, it's already eight. So we got five minutes until this is ready, and then we'll check it out. The best part about doing the wolves, man, really, is that I don't have to make all those saddles. Dude, it takes so long sometimes to go ahead and get all the resources to make, you know, 20 saddles or whatever it is. But not too bad. We're going to go ahead and leave them on breeding just so I can try to get a male. I really like to get a male to replace that one. That should kind of make stuff a little bit easier stat wise. So we'll see what happens, man. We'll come back and see you whenever that's this thing wants some care and see what it wants for imprints. Hopefully nothing too crazy. We'll cryopod it if we have to. All right, so we got a little dude here is just about ready. And they are almost ready for their second one. Hopefully he doesn't want anything too wild. I like walks, man. Walks are easy. Nice. So, 50% on each one. And it looks like we got plenty of time left on the uh, mature timer. So, we got about 2% on each one. So, that gives us plenty of time for messing around. So, health went up. Weight went up. Damage went up quite a bit. Oh, and movement speed, too. So, we're going to get movement speed on each one and damage and health. So, that's awesome, man. That is not too bad at all. We just need to go ahead and try to get some mail. If we get a mail, I'll trade this one out. That way, like I said, we're going to have some better stats. It'll help out in the long run. And this dude, man, only needing two is going to be awesome. And so we'll go ahead and, before we go, wait and see what this one's going to turn out to be. It's only a minute away. Let's go ahead and move you just in case. Oh, dude, we're overweight, man. <laughs> I grabbed all that stuff out of the fridge just in case it wanted something. How long have you got? You've got 30 seconds, and you're still five minutes. So let's throw this stuff back in the fridge real quick, just in case it does spoil pretty quick, you know? Go and grab our Jerboa, man. Poor little dude. I left all of his family over at our other base, man. I didn't forget about him. I just, well, had no reason to bring him over too much, you know? We'll have to see. We might make a trip over there before we call it on this series. Genesis 2 is coming out soon, so we got a little over a week left. And please be a male. Oh, it is! Nice, nice, nice. Um, change some stuff real quick. Give you a little bit of food. Was that a raptor? That sounded like a raptor. No raptors around here, man. Cool, so what are your stats real quick? 2,000 on the health. That's a little bit lower. 364 on the damage. So it does have the health, or it has the damage. It's got the health from the mother, and then it's got the damage from 
the father, or vice versa. It's got that from the father. Well, yeah, well, you know what I mean. <laughs> it's got the lower health, but the higher damage. So that's not too bad, man. We'll go ahead and we'll trade out that male and use this this one. We'll still use him. We'll probably keep him and put him in with the pack for whenever we do the Alpha Manicore. His stats are still pretty good, so not that big of a deal. But I'm going to go ahead and leave this one here, man. Been a kind of a busy morning getting both of the wolves. Kind of worked out that they were both in the same area. Made it very easy instead of having to build two traps. And then seems like our stats are going to be pretty well on these guys. But hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.